I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus book, Asus Vivo book Flip 14. The exact model is a TP410U. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to tear it down, to remove the motherboard and to clean up the whole thermal paste, repaste and the fan system. They do suck in a lot of dust in there and you should do your own maintenance every year. So you can keep it cool, running cooler and it will run even better and faster. All right, so let's get, keep this video really short, as short as possible and get started. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop completely. You want to flip it upside down and you're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover. Remember the front end screws are the short screws. The mid ones are the long one. The back from the left all the way to the almost the right one. These are the same as the mid ones, the long one. And I realized the only medium screw is the one on the right top corner. It's about one millimeter shorter than the the other long screws. So let me know in the video comment if you guys have the same little bit short three types of screw like a short ones, long ones and the medium one. Let me know in the video comment if you guys have the same screw sets. For the screwdriver I'm going to be using an iFixit screwdriver set and we're going to be using a Phillips number one. You can get the pro set and uh, on the pro set they will include you an opening tool, tweezers and everything like that. If you don't want to get the pro set, get the iFixit screwdriver set. I'll leave the link in the video description. Yeah, for the opening tool, I'm going to be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick is really suitable to opening electronics and a curved tweezers. All right, let's go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, if you like my videos and if my video helps you guys out and uh, to do your own services, upgrades, and if you want to support the channel, you can support by clicking the like and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And it will be a tremendous help and support for me to make more videos and take requests and answer your questions. I really appreciate it. So there we go. I have the short ones, the long, the medium one and the long one. Now what we're going to do, we're going to open up the laptop 360 degrees completely, flip it over. Just like that. And we're going to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool between. This one has a little crack in there or no, it's just a paint chip. All right, we're going to stick it right between the top and the bottom cover, right about one or two millimeters. And then we're going to just twist it towards inside the keyboard. Just go ahead and twist to release those clips. You want to hear that clicking sound. Go all the way to the back corner, to the left and right side. All right, once you did the left and right side and the front, Lift it up and wobble it around a little bit. There's a tiny hooks in the middle. You want to release those, but don't yank it up because there's a flex cable down there. Now you want to bring it here, open up this slowly, and you want to see some flex cables down there. I usually like to lift it up completely, move it up to the right a little bit so I get more cables to work around. First, we're going to disconnect the you know, flex cable for the back keyboard backlight. To do that, you need to put your fingers at the back of the jack and lift up the black cover 90 degrees and pull up the jack. I'm going to go over this and show you guys once I removed everything. The same thing for a flex cable. Put your finger at the back of the jack, lift up the cover and pull out. The same thing for the keyboard. They're all the same, just different sizes. Lift it up 90 degrees and pull out the flex cable. And there we go. You can see this one is really dirty, so you want to go ahead and take it outside and clean it up with a toothbrush. All right, so down here, first we got to remove the hard drive, we got to remove the battery. So let's start with the hard drive. To remove the hard drive, there's a, I already upgraded the hard drive to an SSD drive. If you want to follow my other video, how to upgrade the SSD, follow that video. We're going to remove six screws, one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Go ahead and remove them. 
Or once you remove this one, you want to lift up the hard drive from the back side and just pull it out and slide it out. We're going to remove the Wi Fi board by removing one screw on the Wi Fi board and untangle the cables here. And pull out the Wi Fi board, just pull it out. We're going to disconnect the battery by pulling this jack upward towards the ceiling. Just bring it upward. We're going to remove the battery by removing one, two, three, four screws. Now you can go ahead and lift up the battery. Oh, there's one more right here. Now four screws, lift up the battery. Go ahead and clean it out. We need to remove the flex cable for the LCD, so it just has a little adhesive. Just lift it up from here and bring it over. Just go ahead and lift it up, untangle, bring it over, and down here. This is the touchpad, I guess, touch screen. Lift up this paper and pull out the jack from the sides. Don't yank on the cable, so I'm just pulling the from the corner with my nail. Just bring it out, and that's it. For the LCD, just lift up this cover and pull back the jack. There we go. We're gonna disconnect the speakers, the speaker cable, just pull it out. Now for this flex cable that goes underneath here, it's easy for you to lift up from here, disconnect it from this side, lift up the jack. Has an adhesive, I believe, or oh, no, it doesn't. So lift it up and just pull it out. Now we're going to remove the motherboard by removing one screw, two, and three, four, four screws. Just remember that black screws are for the hinges. So once you remove those, just lift up the. Maybe there's. That's it. Just lift it up. Let me see what is holding it. Nothing actually is holding this one to its place. There we go. So help it out from here. The heat sink goes right under these hinges. So just put it right there and help it out to bring it up. And lift up the motherboard and slide it out. And flip it the other way around. And there we go. Now we can see the whole fan. You can go ahead and clean up this whole place. It's really nice and dirty. So I'm going to put this one right here. I'm going to grab a workshop towel and we're going to place it right on top here. And we're going to remove the cables for the fan just by pulling this jack backward. From the side, I'm not pulling the cables, but the cables are really fragile. So I slide out the jack. Remove the four and five screws for the heatsink. And remove the single screw for the fan right in the corner here. Now you can go ahead and remove the heatsink. It is really dried up, so it's actually hitting the... Just try to rotate and lift it up. So there you go. This is like a hardened thermal paste. So that's why it's over throttling and it's probably full of dust. Let's put the motherboard, let's fix first, remove the thermal paste on the motherboard. We're gonna use an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol on a towel a little bit. And we're just gonna rub it right on top of the dye. All you care about is cleaning the dye. Don't worry about the all around it. It's like not necessary to clean everything around it as long as you clean the dye. But if you want to be really paranoid or whatever, just go ahead and just really rub up all around it. So I'm just gonna go as much as I can go like this. But the only thing that is gonna to touch the heat sink is the crystal dye, which is higher than the rest. So it's like, a, there's no point for you to clean up everything. Just clean up the dye and do a second pass with a dry part at the end. So I'm going to leave the motherboard to one side. 
Now we're gonna bring the heat sink. Now we're gonna take the heat sink outside. We're gonna use a toothbrush, clean it up with a toothbrush, and clean up with, again with a towel, clean up the old thermal paste, clean up the base, everything else, and I'll be back. All right, now that we, I cleaned up the fan, cleaned up the bottom casing, everything like that, I'm gonna remove the thermal paste on the heat sink. Now what do you want to do? You're going to clean up nicely, make sure the crystal die is like a nicely shiny. And we're going to apply the thermal paste. You can use whatever thermal paste you wish. I'm going to be using a, an Arctic Silver 5. You can use an Arctic MX4. I would recommend you MX4. As for this video, my MX4 is finished. So I'm going to go with an Arctic Silver 5. So we want to put a tiny line on the main die. And one small half line on the secondary die. And we're gonna grab the heat sink and we're gonna apply it right, put it right on top. Put it the way that it's supposed to be right there. And put the four, five, six screws on the heat sink to keep it in place. Make sure the screws they go across each other, just cross them like an X shape. Don't go clockwise or counterclockwise. All right, now one thing is very important, always put the fan in. People always forget to plug in the fan. Plunge it in there and there it should be. Now we have a nice and clean motherboard. You're just gonna grab it, make sure all the cables are out of the way. Put the I.O. side down in 45 degree angle and bring it down and set it down right there. And grab the trackpad or touchpad, the cable right here. You want to put it right on top and track it down, bring it over and connect it to the connector right in here. It's just pretty much a cable management right there. Bring it in there, put it there. And just accommodate. Make sure the screw hole doesn't uh, pinch, get on the way with your cable. None of them, there's one more right there. So all this cable management is very important. You don't want to pinch them right there or stay there. Once you put the screw from the top, it's just going to go through this cable, so be careful. And Put the two screws right over on this corner, one in here, and the other one should be right over here. Okay, so this one is for the, doesn't matter, so I thought this was for the casing from the top side, but it's not, so you can actually cover it up with this, so that was my bad. But it's still a good to tape it down, so yeah, no harm done. In here, you do want to come from this side to make sure that it's not pinched together, or Here's going to be battery right now. So grab the battery, bring it over, left of the Wi Fi. Oh, before you put that, we, we got to connect this side. I almost forgot about this. Lift up the jack and then slide this flex cable right into the connector right there. And lock it down. Grab the battery, put it right on top. Make sure everything is nice. Put the Wi Fi connector right there slide all the way in and put the screw for the Wi-Fi and that's it so push the hard drive bring it down slide it in in 45 degree all the way towards the jack and put the six screws for the hard drive and then four screws for the battery on the other Place the hard drive the screws and the batteries are the same, so go all around and put the screws for them. We have all this ready to go. Just grab the connector for the battery, align it right on top, just push it towards the jack, and that should be all. Now, one of the last steps down here will be to put the palm rest. To put the palm rest, I'm going to open up the screen a little bit. I'm going to first open up the lock for this one, for the LED backlight. 
keyboard backlight and this one I'm going to open them up slide it in and lock it in place grab this one here for trackpad lock it in and lock it down grab the open up the lock for the keyboard slide it down and lock it in place once you did that just close it down bring up align it and now you want to pinch the top and the bottom cover together just keep going around and pinching them together and there we go once you finish with that and you should be all almost set all you need to do on the bottom cover on the back side grab the screws and put them together and remember the bottom screws the short ones on the front end and the long ones at the back and the medium single one at the top right side again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to your own uh, service and if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video